So now we're going to do a longer version of the short version. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on this one in case that one was too quick for you. Uh, so again, yeah, here we are in Tractor, recording away, happy days. Uh, notice that the beat grid is actually half a beat off. So that, I mean, like this, it's not going to get it, right? It's not going to get it perfect. So it's half a beat off. That's going to be critical in a minute. Because uh, what I want to do is dead drop this original bad boy tune on the left at a certain point in my mix. This is a bad way of mixing. Because I can have this queued up and I can have it ready to go, like, you know. But I want to hit, I want it, just for the sake of demo, I want to dead drop it in. All right, so here we go, look. Ah, he missed his cue. He missed his cue. Lash that right up, haven't you, mate? All right. There's no saving that. So what we're going to do, rewind, 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 rewind. And now what I'm interested in doing is finding a point in the track that I can make my cut. Now, what I'm actually going to do is make the cut at the drop. But I'm going to give myself a good bit of run up to this, right? You'll see why later. Give myself a good bit of run up. So here we are. Happy days recording away. Now, stay on target, stay on target, go for it. Perfect, perfect, depending on what your definition of perfect is. See on the left there, the phase is half a beat out. Sync is not your friend, but you know, it'll get you halfway there. You need a pair of ears, you need to have a bit of a background in vinyl, but uh, let's not get into that debate right now. All right, let's load this up into Reaper. So now I'm using Reaper, you can get this from reaper.fm, it's a free download, uh, they will nag you into purchasing it and I purchased it straight away because I think it's amazing software. So we're finding these two edit points here, where the beat drops, uh, so find those two, bring them together as before, so uh, we're going to edit out all the rubbish and then edit these two mixes together. So I want to replace the this bit on here, get rid of that, I don't want that, and I want the bit that's great, well, great in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so we want to go in, we want to go in and in and in, this is kind of handy because it's a bit of a cliff edge on this one. So uh, yeah, you can't see my mouse, which is a bit annoying, but uh, my mouse you'll see, I'll tell you in a minute, but the mouse is an important thing, right? So go in, go in, go in, and make these two cliff faces right next to each other. Go in, go in, go in, so we want to try and make these as close as possible. We're going to match those two little dips together. Now what I want to do is get to the point where these two samples, the left sample and the right sample, the recordings, are right up next to each other. And then Reaper, so not like that, so Reaper will allow me to move the cut point. So I get it right down, go right down, go right down to the point where now on screen it'll give me an icon that says move cut point, which is like, you know, square left and square right. And when it does that, it means I can move the join from the left and to the right. So, yeah, happy with that. Now, in theory, if I had sense, I would have done it in the silence part. But just for the sake of this demo, what I'm going to do is do it here. So I've shifted the cut point all the way to the left. That is perfect. I mean, you can't hear the difference. The important thing to remember when you're doing these sorts of edits, of course, is to make sure you rewind the track and you don't mess with the tempo, you don't mess with the effects or anything like that. It needs to be identical. So there we go, flawless mix. Wow. <laughs> Happy days. 